Merry Christmas, everyone, friends, family, and most importantly, me. I am going to get myself a gift this holiday with this video. I'm going to tell Elise we're going to be playing a normal Can You Survive Christmas, asking him really normal questions at first, but then the plots are going to deviate slowly, and it's going to get weirder and weirder. And eventually, Elias is going to tell me, wow, Daniel, this story, I had no clue where it was going. For once, I want to beat him to the point where he doesn't know what's going to happen next. So stay Stay tuned. It's a weird video. Merry Christmas. Today we're going to be playing Can You Survive Christmas? Happy holidays. I'm still waiting on my coal. That joke has been a year old. It's dead. It's still good. <laughs> that is true. I never got you that coal. <laughs> It'll be a little D&D &D session, but in a normal Christmas setting. Okay. And then, you know, you answer some questions for me. It's going to be an easy and chill recording. We'll finish within 30 minutes. It's going to be a good time. All right. It was the night before Christmas. All of your relatives have come over to celebrate together. Are people coming from Korea or something? Or have you gone to Korea? Uh, it's, it's an imaginary relative. It's not real relatives. It's Who are these people? <laughs> your cousins, nephews, grandparents, parents all gather in your house to celebrate the wonders of Christmas. Did you say nephews? Again, imaginary. <laughs> these your children? <laughs> imaginary. And your mom tells you, hey, help me prepare Christmas dinner. Name five typical Christmas food for me. Oh, uh, chicken pot pie, cake, fried chicken, turkey. <laughs> Just a lot of birds. <laughs> oh, these are terrible answers. <laughs> Tell me the recipe of a chicken pot pie. <sighs> you have to pick the hardest one. Uh, well, first you, you gotta skin and chop up the chickens. Uh, season it. With? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unfortunately, that's not the right answer. Are you kidding right me? Answer. Why don't you ask for a fried chicken or like cookies? While you're arguing with Daniel, your nephew comes to you and asks, Uncle, is, is Santa real? How do you answer? Historically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There were two beings called Father Christmas and Saint Nicholas. They died long, long time ago, but they live in your heart and your imagination. Is Santa real? Define real. Real <laughs> is a very complex concept. If by real you mean things that you can see, touch, and feel, or hear, real is nothing but an electrical signal that's sent to your brain. So what is real? <laughs> This is not an answer I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> the kid has a very confused look. And you also notice that everybody's kind of quiet looking at you. But you ignore it because uh, they must be just listening to my philosophical answer of Santa's real or not. I'm INTJ. I don't give a fudge. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's a knock on the door. Huh? All your relatives are here. Hmm, I wonder who it is. Is it the four knocks? Why is it four knocks? Heartbeat of the Time Lords. Is this the doctor? What is up with you and trying to reference Doctor Who every time we record? Did you just have like an obsession that- That's what being Whovian is all about. There's a knock on the door. Okay. You open the door and it's a bunch of men with masks. They storm the house. They have guns. Everybody freaks out. Oh my God, it's the robbers. People put their hands up. It's dead silent. One of the men that looks like a leader says, we're here to rob your house. If you stand still and don't do anything, no one will get hurt. Can I see your gun for a second? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? I mean, I want to know if that they're real. <laughs> Do you want to fire at the ceiling or something? You think this is a joke? Bang, bang. <laughs> I gotcha. You fired a gun in the middle of a Christmas night in a household. People are going to call police. And Don't you're... worry, Elias. Santa will save us. Both St. Nicholas and Father Christmas died long, long time ago. Unless you know necromancy, I don't think they're going to help. Any, anyway, uh, we're going to rob your house now. Sit still. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Knock yourself out. I got insurance, so. Also, we're going to take this nephew with us. No, what? No, wait. Hmm. Daniel, is this your child? Uh, No, we got, we got another sibling. Let's go with that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm letting my imaginary child get kidnapped. <laughs> As you stand up for your child. My child? You're my daughter now? As you stand up for the child. Uh -huh. There's another knock on the door. The robbers are also very confused. Everybody's just confused at the amount of knocking that's happening at your doors. You gonna get that? Uh, I, I guess. Either you get it or I have to get it. I guess. Everybody stay quiet. You just fired a gun, dude. <laughs> Nothing is quiet here. <laughs> One of the robbers opens the door slightly and you just hear a ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. And the door the door bashes open and it's Santa Claus and his friendly elves. They're here to save you. Well, there are robbers with the mask on and there's a Santa and elves. It's basically cosplayers invading my house over and over and over. Santa, says the little nephew. No, no, stay away from the men. <laughs> stay away from the Santa. Like I said, dead men hundreds of years ago. Santa says, ho, ho, ho. From his bag, he pulls out a toy gun and shoots everybody in the head and they all just fall asleep because it's Christmas and we're not going to kill anybody. What did you put on that? toy gun what a kind of tranquilizers are you shooting ho 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 the ones that shoot when kids don't go to bed on christmas eve <laughs> <laughs> 
I knew it. <laughs> what do you I mean? tried so hard to stay up late when I was a child. It never worked out. It was that gun. <laughs> it was that gun. <laughs> Am I getting all the wrong reactions? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just waiting. Nothing. Nothing. You know what? No, you're fine. You're fine. Everything's great. Yeah, one of the relatives calls the cops. Uh -huh. And Santa says, follow me. No. <laughs> are you really claiming that you are a Santa? You're the Santa? Yep. Really? Then which one are you? St. Nicholas or Father Christmas? I need your help to save Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Are you talking to me or my nephew? You. Me? Yeah. The nephew doesn't matter. So if I don't come with you, does holiday season cease to exist? Yeah. Hmm. What do I want? <laughs> As you say that, the nephew pulls out Santa's gun and shoots in the head. You can take him. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Every time when I have a child, every time I defend you, I feed you, I try to save you, and I get swept up in some sort of chaos. You wake up in the sleigh. Santa says, ho, ho, you kind of overslept. Christmas is almost over. You think I was sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> kind of woke up late. Turns out I didn't really need you to save Christmas. Did it myself. You're well. Hand me the gun. As you say that, Santa says, okay, so I can just like drop you off anywhere. And he throws you into the North Pole and flies away. I will oh, find oh. you, Santa. I will find you and kill you. Let's say you were thrown in Antarctica by Santa Claus. What is the first choice that you got to make to survive? Uh, Keep moving. Which way? I remember where Santa flew off and followed directly. Statistically, that's my only chance. You walk for a while and you feel like you're about to freeze to death. Mm -hmm. And at a distance you see, is that... Oh, it's Santa Claus's house. All right, elves, I will free you from that tyrant. <laughs> And you see a huge factory with elves making toys for all the Christmas kids. Santa seems to have just arrived in his reindeer saying, I saved Christmas and this boy joined me, but he was so lazy that he just slept all the way. So I just dropped him off at the nearest place and came home. Ho, ho, ho. I approached the elves and asked them if they enjoyed their life. I will start mutiny <laughs> among the elves, create a rebellion. Honestly, Santa does nothing. Elves make every magical thing. Uh, I'll let you roll for that. <sighs> Why is it always the dice? Oh, you got a five. I love that dice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't mind working here. We don't know any other life. Oh, you poor things. Do you know internet? No. We'll try using them. See what the world is like. Five minutes later. later. Santa Claus. We won freedom. <laughs> Down with the tyrant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this not the direction you hope for? Santa Claus says, what, what's going on? You, you come in to my house, influence my elves and ruin my Christmas. You came into my house, attempting to <laughs> steal my nephew and kidnap me. You have ruined my Christmas and I'm going to do the same to you. We want dental insurance. <laughs> <laughs> City of C. Oh, yeah. Santa starts to balk up. You have crossed the line. And he, he, from a fat man, becomes this like muscular figure. Time to battle. Elf, tranquilizer gun. The one that one Santa used. Give me the gun. An elf grabs a gun and throws it at you, like in those movies. And I grab it like one of those badass uh, retired spy agent. Okay, we'll roll for that. <laughs> you catch it. I love that dice. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> You're rolling a six. That's insane. <laughs> we, we rapid fire the tranquilizer gun to Santa. You and all the elves grab a gun and start just shooting at the Santa. The Santa falls to his knees and falls asleep. <laughs> really? This much tranquilizer that should have killed him. He's a magical creature. He doesn't die easily. Okay, elves, this is your path to freedom. Build me a prison that can contain Santa. Okay, pause. So, how come you're not questioning anything I'm doing right now? Why are you going along with this? Okay, you tell me that I question too many things. So I tried to hold back myself and tried to go along. You d <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to make you say, wow, this story for once is very unexpected and I don't know where it's going. Wow, this story is so- No, shut up, it's too late! <laughs>